Hi, my name's Leanne Hall. This is my husband, Geoffrey Hall, and together we own and operate Hallmark Farm American Paint Horses in Dubbo, New South Wales. Today we're going to talk a little about the final show ring presentation for a paint horse for halter. We'll start at the front of the horse and we'll work back. This is a weanling colt um, that was shown today. He did very well. What we will do is we will talk first from the muzzle, um, through the head, down the body, and then we'll come back to how to correctly fit and stand the horse for halter. We start with the muzzle, we apply face makeup, like so. There's many types of face makeup available, this is just one. The face makeup is applied liberally on the dark skin and around the eyes, just here, and also in the ear if your horse will allow you to do that. To clean the muzzle up, we use clippers and razors to clean this area here, if you'll let us. <laughs> we run our clippers down here and then we do a final touch up on the, on the morning of the show with the razor. We also use the clippers to clip the long hairs around the eye, being very careful not to cut the eyelashes. And we of course clip the ears out clean. We then move back along the body and we clip this section here known as the bridle path. There's a lot of people will tell you different lengths to cut here. The length of the ear is what some people believe. What we look at as to the lengths to clip is the area here in the throat latch. We like this area here to come into a straight line and that is where we finish clipping. We clip all the long hairs and whiskers from underneath the jaw to give a clean finish to the jaw. So the head we've clipped underneath, around, the long hairs on the eye, the long hairs in the ear, oops, and the long hairs here. We then band the mane, which you see this horse is already banded. That is about the length I like it to be. Again, you look at the, the horse, stand back, have a look at the shape of his neck, and that will determine as to how long your bands are. We like the bands, the colour of the bands, to match the colour of the mane as closely as possible, not to stand out too much. We come down to the legs, we clip the hair, just lift up the leg. We clip the hairs from all around here, completely around the coronet, up the back of the leg and up here. Approximately a week before a major show, we clip the white hair completely off. So we use the clippers and we run up and remove all of the white hair. Same goes for the white faces. On the front of the face, a week ago, this horse had the entire blaze clipped off. By doing this, you get new hair growth. It's shorter, it's cleaner, and it's nice and crisp and white. Back to the feet, we apply hoof black to the feet. Now, a little tip when applying your hoof black, put the hoof black on before you wash the leg. If the leg is wet, the hoof black will run up into the leg. In case of a disaster, which we all have, always carry some kind of fly spray and a cloth. If the hoof black gets into the hair, simply spray with a little bit of Aerogard, off whichever variety it is, and dab with a cloth. It will remove all of the hoof black. Grooming, of course, is very important. We have to, to have the horse groomed. Um, we avoid body clipping wherever we can, particularly with babies. Um, and then, of course, the tail. Tail should be clean and brushed. Um, avoid plaiting too tight. If the tail is wet, you'll have too many wrinkles and waves in there and it may look a little odd. As far as the hair coat condition, there is no shortcuts and no secrets. Hard work, good feed and grooming alone. That is the only thing that will help there. M make sure before you go in the ring, you've cleaned out your horse's feet, pick them up, clean them out. That way you can stand him square. Now to the halter, the fitting of the halter. Let's put these down. This section here is very important. We want this to be nice and snug in the throat. We want the cheek piece to be straight and follow the cheekbone of the horse. You can see here this little horse's cheekbone runs to here and this is in line with it. We both prefer to have the chain under the jaw. It just gives a little more control. It looks a lot tidier and it is safer, but please practice at home with this. Um, if you are just learning to show a halter horse, 
and you apply a chain and apply pressure, the horse is likely to rear up and possibly strike. So please practice at home with just a little pressure until the horse becomes used to it. Wow. The headpiece, the buckle should sit just below the ear, not above it, not too far below. So this way, turn around, we have a nice view of the horse's profile of his head, his nice big eye, his ears, his muzzle. Okay, we've got our horse prepared. He's clipped, banded, washed, makeup on, hoof plaque done, and we're ready to go to the show ring. Our last minute checklist, bag with everything we need. Soft brush for the body, stiff brush for the feet, tail comb for the tail. Most important, fly spray, very important. If it's a big show, we apply some kind of show sheen or peppy and a clean cloth to take any marks off their face or body. So in closing, I'd like to say thank you to my husband, Jeffrey, for holding our little colt HMF Eminence, who is also known as number four.